This from ESPN.com, each NBA playoff team's strength and weakness. Now for the Celtics as we look ahead, strength, depth behind their star duo, so that's Tatum and, and Jalen Brown, and they say specifically De Derek White. Weakness, rim protection without Porzingis. Uh, you look at the Cavs, they say strength is their isolation defense. Uh, weakness is playing on the road. Um, yeah, yeah the, you know, the, the road, uh, if you can't beat the Magic, if you can't make the Magic game, the, those games competitive, you're going to be in trouble in the Boston Gardens. Right. You've got to find, Donovan Mitchell has said, they've got to play way better than they did against Orlando, and they know that. You know, um, they're still kind of hoping for a complete game, complete effort, where, you know, everything comes together, and they haven't had that really since probably maybe once or twice since the all-star break so you know now there's your backs up against it can you can you put together that kind of complete game where defensively you're as strong as you've been all season which that that is right that's individual defense has been their strength all year as well as some team defense but you know you're gonna have to do that and you're gonna have to make shots they didn't make shots against Orlando, even in game seven. You know, you were looking, whatever they started from three, just weren't falling down. Then Sam Merrill came in, kind of gave them a boost by hitting two quick threes. And all of a sudden, you know, the 18-point lead is down to 10 at halftime. You have new life. So it really, but that started with their defense. And then they continued that defense again in the second half. But, yeah, they'll have to be better. Um if they're going to get a road win, which you have to do to get out of this series, uh, they're, they're going to have to put together one of those games like they did in January and um, when they won 17 of 18 and just everything came together for a stretch there. And you know what? The bright side is if you put together one of those games, then you realize what you did and, and how you went about it, and then you feel confident to put another, and that's what leads to playoff upsets in a seven-game series is – we found something here that's working, and now it's going to work every time. So that's that's really their mission. But yeah, you've got to find you've got to find some serious resolve to to win a road game and play a lot better than you did on the road against Orlando. It's a little different challenge, and obviously the Celtics are the best team in basketball. But you don't have the the six ten six eleven physical presence kind of guys that caused a lot of problems for the Cavs. It's a different set of problems with the, with the Celtics. Yeah, Boston's physical play all stems from their backcourt. Drew Holiday and Derek White uh, are, are very physical defenders. They're very talented defenders. Now, the good news is the Cavs experienced that a little bit already with Jalen Suggs and Gary Harris in, the, in, in Orlando because those were both very – both those players are also very physical defenders. White and, and uh, Drew Holiday from the Celtics are both excellent defenders. They're not as good a defenders as, as Jalen Suggs. He may be the best backcourt defender in the NBA. So, you know, the Cavs survived that, but now they're going to get two guys that, with Derek White especially, not only is really good defensively, but could he's capable of erupting offensively. So that's where, you know, this is where the series is going to be different. Then, of course, Orlando rolls out you know, four, six, 11 guys uh, in, in game six in their starting lineup. Boston's smaller than that, especially without Porzingis. Boston's trouble spots, if you're the Cavs, are going to come from the wing in Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. So you're not going to have as much to contend with underneath, again, without Porzingis there. And he's more of a perimeter guy anyway. Uh, but you're going to really have to you know, find a way to buckle down and lock these guys down on the wing and make Brown and Tatum, who are going to get their points. You just got to make them work like crazy uh, to get those points and irritate them and hope that Derek White or Drew Holiday or some of these other guys, uh, Al Horfords of the world, don't go off uh, because that's going to be a big a big ask to, 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 to overtake a team that's got four guys going off at the same time. <laughs>